today we're going to be making a watercolor and ink butterfly image when you are using watercolor it's important that you understand that if you vary the amount of water that you add to it you can get a more translucent effect that means that the paint becomes a little bit see-through and um, a much lighter effect is achieved so I've started off with some drawings of some butterflies I'm going to be trying to add a, at least two colours to each butterfly. I've selected uh, the colours that I want to use by looking at the colour wheel. I want to use colours that are close to each other on the colour wheel. So I've started off with a purple outline around one of the wings. It's important that you work quickly when you're using watercolour because uh, you're going to work wet into wet. So wet into wet is when you put one wet colour on top of another colour. Um, and that makes them merge or blend in together. So I'm going around the edge of the wing with a purple. Um, I'm doing sections at a time, not to do all of it so it doesn't dry. And then in the center of those, I'm working over the top of the purple and in the remaining area with a pink so that those two colors blend together. Obviously the more you uh, run your brush, brush over the purple that will then blend that more depending on how much you want to blend the two. On the tip of this wing I decided it was a little bit too much purple and not enough pink so if you use your brush put it in some clean water and then use that brush to lift off the colour slightly you can do that and then you can add a little bit more colour. You can also do this if you think you've gone too dark with the watercolour. Just use a clean brush with some clean water and lift off the areas that you want. So I'm using some pinks and oranges on the rest of the butterflies. Again trying to blend the colours together. Now I'm going to try and make the watercolour deliberately run and drip. So I've put a little bit of a pool of water in the bottom part of the wing and I'm tilting the paper upright and just gently blowing onto that pool to encourage it to run down the page. So I'm going to do this in a few different places just to get a little bit of a different, more interesting effect. And there we have the watercolours finished now. So I'm just going to get the hairdryer and dry that off. And then I can now work over the top of that with a fine liner pen. So I'm going over my initial drawing and adding some areas of black as well, just to bring out the pattern in the butterfly.
Okay, so here's the finished image. Please subscribe to see some more videos.